Hey everyone, check this out. Right here is my Strike Master 40 volt electric ice auger. I've had it going on three years now and it has been awesome. I was just ice fishing yesterday and ran into Travis Frank. He is a reporter from the TV show Minnesota Bound and he has the 24 volt version of this ice auger. Super nice guy and he was uh, nice enough to give us a little demonstration how it works. So check this out. Oh, this is Travis Frank from Minnesota Bound. He's got the new uh, lithium 24 volt Strike Master. Want to see it? Yeah, let's see it in operation. Well, first of all, check how light that is. Most times you can't do that with an ice auger. <laughs> it's just too heavy. So that part's pretty sweet. That's it goes pretty quick too. About 14 inches of ice, 13 yep. inches of ice. So that's pretty all sweet. plastic instead of the metal and like that, the one I have. Yeah, is that with an extension there or no? No, this is how that's it comes. The standard? This, this is a light flight the, auger the, bit. Right, but the extension will be, if you put an extension on, it'll just be added sure. on to that. Yeah. You bet. Yeah, yep. you, can, you can add on to it. But yep. uh, this would be standard right here. Is your battery, yep. rechargeable. But um, yeah, it's really light. I mean, this, this uh, light flight, you don't Locker. think those will break at all, being plastic? They're pretty strong? No, and a lot of people have actually been putting these on their other augers, like the 40V. Okay. Taking, you can just buy this on its own and putting it on your, your 40V. I? Or, like my dad right here. Here's his dad. <laughs> Say hi. He, 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 likes, he likes the weight of this a little bit better. It is, yeah, ours is a little bit heavy, Did but I it works great. No, yeah. so a lot of people's complaints is that one's too heavy, the 40 volt, so they want the drill one. So yeah. this is what, our third yeah. year with that one? Yeah. I mean, the 40 volt is not a heavy auger no. in my opinion. I don't no, think so. I'm also in my mid-30s. I mean, I, yeah. I just throw it on the four-wheeler anyway or whatever. It ain't yeah. like I'm trudging around the lake with it. Right. Right now for a quick comparison, here's Reggie using our uh, 40 volt version for the first time. And now just for the fun of it, here's my buddy John using his K-drill. All right, John's sporting the K-drill here. Let's see how it does. It does pretty good. That's that. Now I know fishermen seem to have some pretty strong opinions about which auger is best. But I gotta tell you, um, after using all three of these, it's really a personal preference. I think they all work excellent. I have the 40 volt and I have no plans on changing this one. I really like this one. Uh, that 24 volt one is nice and light. So I do like that one. And if I had to do it over again, I'd probably buy that one. And then, uh, for the fans of using the K-Drill, they seem to love those too, so it's your choice, whatever one you want. Uh, the electric augers though, they're here to stay, they're awesome, they always work, and no more dealing with all that gas. <laughs> so I highly recommend them. I'll put links to them below so you can check them out for yourself. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, there's the hole.